the hand, we have the hand, we have the hand, from the Caribbean, we have the hand, we have the hand, we have the hand, from your one number one, from your ready for the competition, you don't let intimidation. All right, it's a cricket heavy Wednesday and we stay in the region, but this time on the field as the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League continued on Tuesday night with Antigua and Barbuda Falcons suffering their fourth consecutive loss of the tournament, this time to St. Lucia Kings in front of their home crowd at the Civilian Richards Stadium. Let's take the highlights. Lovely shot, pick the length quickly and beautifully. First runs of the contest, first boundary of the game. Nice. He, he, he plays brave cricket in white ball cricket, Justin Graves. High and should be taken. It is taken, that opening partnership is broken, carry here. The Frenchman takes the catch. It. Oh, it's a big swing and some more fortune going the way of Graves. Yeah! Oh, he's bowled him. The Frenchman with his first ball of the night. That's a good start from Justin Graves. Four runs. Hasn't hit it, will it land safely? No, perhaps, no. That's a good catch. Again by Carrie Peer. Be Into the gap at four. The third boundary since the power play concluded. Has he hit it well enough? Matthew Ford underneath it. No, he hasn't hit it well enough. And spin in the game again. is gone you know I reckon it's gone see the bat's not quite down there yeah there's confirmation Sam Billings gone for 14 yeah oh, he's got a first ball I hit well enough despite the wind Swipes at it. A little bat is enough to get it away for four more. That's gone a long way up in the air. Catch taken. Hanuka Rajapaksa. Just the single to finish off. The Antigua and Barbuda Falcons. Finish 142 for seven. Well, it's a big swing, and it's enough to carry it all the way. Trying to find something to change their fortunes, and it's a wicket. Walloped straight over his head. Take on Chris Green strikes. Down the ground, a wonderful strike from the young man. Shouts of wicked. Oh, not quite. Bang! Sixer. It's right in the slot for him. And he'd have been dreaming of one like that. Sends it out the ground. As he hits it well enough. Has he? Has he? Yep. Six up. Out! Oh, that's out. That's right in front. Swung across the line. Didn't pick the arm ball. More of it, he will finish it in a hurry. He's not giving Amir a sniff. And that is victory. He is not messed around at all here, Tim Seifert. 
Yes, starring Sammy. He snatched the ear out of that one. Taking 24 of that over from Mohamed Amir. And back to back wins to start the season. Kings sending a message that they're a team to be reckoned with. Could it be the year for them because they won the toss? sent the Falcons into that, restricted them to 142 for seven. Braves looked decent. And then they chased it quite convincingly with Charles run a ball 47. Side for 26 from 11, Duplessis with a 28 from 15 and O'Keefe with 27. Sumble again, Mohamed chatting to Alex Jordan and uh, this is uh, the state of the Republic Bank CPL 2024 points table. The Kings, by virtue of playing two games and winning both, at the top of the table. The Royals, with their net run rate differential over the Knight Riders, both playing a solitary game. And uh, the will start for a new franchise in Republic Bank CPL history, the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons. Yeah, look, I think uh, it's a pretty similar story for us with the bat uh, in all four games. That middle over period from 7 to 15, I just found through good bowling from the opposition and, and for us, I just feel like we keep getting stuck. We haven't really had that big partnership, couple of big partnerships to be able to push on and get a total about the around the 170 mark, you know, 170 or 171 is that average winning score batting first. The first two games we got pretty close in the 160s, took it down to the last ball and then last game and then tonight again, uh, 140. Uh, it wasn't as good of a wicket, but I still think we're probably about 15 to 20 runs short. We have... Yeah, really clinical performance. The wicket surprised me a little bit. Um, watching the last few games, it looked like it was a really good pitch. And tonight it was a little bit slower, a little bit more two-paced, so nice and clinical from us. All right, well, the pressure continues to build on the Antigua and the Barbuda Falcons. That facial expression from Darren Sammy when that six was hit, it tells you a lot, Lance. And of course, with that win, the St. Lucia Kings, they've now moved to the top of the CPL table um, with a total of four points. They've never won the Caribbean Premier League before. And it's looking like, and I don't want to say anything just yet, but the way they're heading... Who knows? They can walk away with the title this season. They have um, an all-round performance we've been seeing from them with bat and ball. And I think, you know, they're heading in the right direction. Yeah, they were being finalists twice, 2020 and 21, I think, on the name Zooks and then the Kings after that. Um, but they've started well. We know that the CPL is a pretty long tournament, so your first two or three matches, um, in essence, cannot, you know, directly suggest where you're going to be heading for the tournament but they've made a, a start that is very very encouraging and the quality of their team very impressive i heard fab the place talking about the afghanistan left arm spinner uh, Noor ahmad that he's one of the best in the world and uh, very very impressed with him and uh, the falcons uh, continuing to to slide because you know they were in a situation where they had lost their first three and all of these are home games this match being played at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in North Sound Antigua and Barbuda so the hope stroke expectation is that they would be buoyed by their home fans to get a result Justin Graves came in for his first game last night played well top scored had the best strike rate as well but uh, otherwise the batting as their captain Chris Green said flopped again and uh, while they could take some consolation that a couple of their previous losses were real nail-biting losses yeah. where they played well but just didn't get the result, they didn't really put up much of a challenge last night and they were pretty badly beaten. Yeah, of course. And you mentioned uh, his name just now, uh, the St. Lucia Kings spinner Noor Ahmad. He was named player of the match with his 3 for 12 and he was really elated about his effort. Let's hear from him. Thank you. It's been a pleasure playing CPL. Uh, yeah, playing in different pitches, different conditions. Uh, you know, we get used to it and always try to deliver best for my team. I think uh, last game uh, the total was big in the first innings. Uh, this time I had a good partnership with the bowlers uh, in my team. I think that works for that worked for me today. 
Yeah, three for 18 there for mm. Noor Ahmad. So, you know, the St. Lucia Kings, as I said previously, really coming out and showing an all-round effort. You said it um, rightfully, Lance, that the CPL is a competition that has a lot of games. It's a long competition. And really and truly, you can have a bad start and then you can go on to win the entire competition. That's the beauty of the CPL. But Nikhil on the show yesterday made a brilliant point, And I think it's so important. Yes, you can lose a couple of games, but for the Antigua and the Barbuda Falcons, there's going to come a point where they need to start winning and they'll have to start being worried that they'll be kicked out of the competition. And I think now is that point. They've really missed Brandon King um, where the batting is concerned. And I think, you know, that is really being displayed. Um, when we look at them back right now, uh, last year for the Jamaica Talawas, and we said that the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons has a lot of players from the Jamaica Talawas. We know what Brandon King did for them with the bat, and I think it's glaring that he's missing, but I really wish some of the other batsmen would just really step up and contribute with their performances. Yeah, the fact is, heading into yesterday's game four for them, they did suggest that they wouldn't have been pressing the panic button just yet. But, but I would suggest that after last night's loss, 0-4 oh, now, all home games, that things are looking very sticky for them and they have to turn their form around. Um, mathematically, they're not out of the championship, but um, they've got to start winning. There's no question about it. And because last night's loss was not as competitive as a performance, uh, for them, I think it would add to their their worries and their concerns and uh, Maybe it's now time to press that panic button and get going. Yeah, I asked Nikhil about the changes yesterday and the thing is uh, It's it's easy to sit and say that we can make a couple of changes But it's not that easy when it comes to execution. So I'm delighted excited and all these different adjectives to see what the captain Chris Green does in the next match and you know only time will tell but I really hope the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons lands can turn it around and get some wins at least for their fans back home yeah all right well it's time now for a new addition to this CPL segment the play of the day brought to you by Angostura let's see what the producers have picked And that is victory. He is not messed around at all here, Tim Seifert. Yes, yeah, starring Sammy. Just the icing on the kick, an exclamation point. I just want to say, I don't know what's the moment. Is it Darren Sammy's reaction or the shot? But <laughs> that just may be trying to be funny. Yeah. What a moment that was. I love the sound of the bat and, of course, that six. What do you think about it? Would you have picked that? Because remember, the producers went about and did that. They selected that. What are your thoughts? I don't have a problem with it, really, because when you win a match as emphatically as that with a, with a, with a six and as big a six as that was... Um, no, no complaints there. Let's see if it can make the Sports Max Class Moment nominations on Friday. But what do you think now? You're Lance Whitaker. You're sitting on the panel. We judge every week. Do you think that has the quality to even enter our Sports Max Class Moment? Because that is the moment of the week that we select. You know, it's so important and it's mm. played on the channel um, for the week to come. Do you think this has the quality to make that? Well, it's hard to say by itself because I'm, I'm not sure what the other candidates are. But um, on the face of it, it looks like it is it qualifies for a nomination. But if there are other um, nominees that are pretty strong as well, it, has it, to go. It, it could get squeezed out because it was a well hit six. But the strength of it as a nomination would be the fact that it, it, it ended the game and closed off a spectacular and emphatic victory by the Kings. So at the moment, I would say, yes, it qualifies for a nomination, but I would still have to wait to see what the opposition or the other candidates are. And it's only Wednesday, so you know how that goes. Something can happen in the CPL match today, something can happen <laughs> tomorrow, and then it yeah. bumps all the That's other right. moments off. So we wait and see, and viewers, you have to tune in on Friday to see if it makes that Sports Max class moment. Well, the Republic Bank CPL continues at Warner Park in St. Kitts and Nevis, where the home team, the Patriots, will look to make up for their loss to the Kings and join them on four points. But first, they'll have to be the defending champions, Ghana Amazon Warriors, who won their opening match. Well, that match will be live on Sports Max immediately after the zone. Yeah, 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 yeah.
We have the hand, 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 we have the h